In today's video, we'll go over lack of motivation and its connections with depression. Lack of motivation is a symptom of depression because depression zaps you of all of your energy. It zaps you of your ability to feel joy in the things you once enjoyed. For example, I enjoy sewing, but when I'm having a really bad day battling with my depression, not even creating something out of nothing is enough to bring me joy. And that lack of motivation can be very, very disheartening, especially if you're a person full of ambition like I am. I own multiple businesses and I run this blog, but some days I have just enough trouble just trying to get up and take a shower and feed myself that day. I often tell people that it's like running through water. You know how if you're in a pool or in the ocean, if you try to run at full speed, you go so far in expelling so much energy, but you actually don't physically get that far because the water is res putting a resistance against your body and making it harder for you to move forward. And for depression, it's like the depression is the water in my mind and I just can't get my body to do what I want it to do because the depression is causing that resistance and I'm not moving as fast as I would like to. Once I explain it that way to those that don't deal with depression on a daily basis, they end up understanding a little bit better just what it's like trying to stay motivated and move on with your day when you're going through depression. One way that I stay motivated when I'm having such a bad day with depression is that I make to-do lists. That way I don't get overwhelmed with everything going on in my head. I get it out of my head and on paper. And once I write my to-do list, I take certain things and I break them down into smaller pieces. For example, if doing the dishes is on my to-do list, I can break it down into wash dishes, dry dishes, put dishes away. So I break it down into smaller parts so that I can check off each small part as I do it and I feel more accomplished because I've gotten more done. If you've written that to-do list and you look at the long list of things that you feel like you need to do and it's still overwhelming, pick one thing that is the most important on that list and do that one thing. Don't forget to break it down into smaller chunks so that you don't feel overwhelmed even with one thing. Once you do that one thing, a lot of the times what will happen is that your motivation will snowball. And what that means is, you know, the way a snowball will increase in size and momentum as it rolls down a hill? Well, that's kind of how your motivation will be if you just start doing one thing. Some days it won't snowball and all you'll be able to do is that one thing, but at least you got one step forward towards what you wanted to get done. As long as you're moving forward, then there's no reason for you to be upset with yourself that you're dealing with this depression. Now remember, you can contact me on my Facebook page or on the contact page on thebutterfliesproject.com. And remember that you are not alone, and I appreciate you. See you next week.